Hi, I'm Jeff, and I have the SEMA 107 Mini Helicopter. It's the Metal Series version, and this is a really neat looking helicopter, and I'm going to be checking it out, and let's do that now. Let's see all about it. So, I'm going to move my camera. Always necessary. Pardon me for that. <laughs> I film alone. I'm going to slide this out of the package. Okay. The radio and the helicopter are held in very securely for shipping purposes with wire. And it has plastic coating on it. And it's wired in very good. So I undid them very carefully so I don't want to damage anything. I've seen people open these and yank, try to yank them out of the box not realizing they're wiring in and you can break your helicopter right off the bat and that wouldn't be good so I gently unwired it and now I'm going to gently take it out of the box. Also on the back of the box the USB plug for charging it is taped onto the back. It would be also easy to take the helicopter and the radio out, throw that away and not even think about looking there. So that's what I use for charging located right onto the back. Very nice. It does have a metal frame. The rotor, tail rotor for steering. Coaxial blades. Nice gearing mechanism. Super sharp little helicopter. Now let's, let me show you how we charge it. This version came with a USB plug and wire for charging the helicopter and some have um, the charging off of the radio itself. I have seen those as well. Okay, obviously, this plugs right into the computer. And then on the other end, it might be hard to see there, there are two very tiny holes that fits the very tiny holes, the pins, I mean, in that plug. So on those holes, I want to make sure they're down and not up on the top side. The holes are down. And it'll gently just slide right in there. If it's upside down, it will not work, and I could risk damaging and bending the pins, and then it wouldn't charge. So, once again, those tiny holes are on the are down instead of on the top side and then I'm going to plug it right in there and I'm going to go plug it in the computer right off of your remote control now um, your batteries are going to last longer in there if you don't charge it this way and charge it off your computer but you can do it either way it'll work fine either way so I thought maybe I should mention that and see I can put it back in there and then it nice and neat When you plug the USB plug for the charging device for your helicopter in the computer, it won't do anything until the helicopter is charged. And then it'll come on like that. So once again, it'll, it'll be off when it's charging. And the moment it's charged, a light will come back on, which means it is done charging. The helicopter will also need to be turned off before charging it. Once again, turn off the helicopter and then plug it in and then once it's done charging, it'll do that, just like that. It's dimming here because I turned down the light. Um, I want you to see that your USB charging port may pulsate like this while it's charging. You know, it'll be completely off when it starts charging, and as it charges, it'll get it'll pulsate and pulsate and get brighter and brighter. And then when it's really bright, like I showed you before, it's charged. This is how it looks during charge. So that that's normal. 